So I have to tell you, I could have I could have done it the other time, but there's so many things, and actually, um, I, it it just can't fit all in the video. But I'm going to tell you some things now that not many people know. First of all, this symbol is Hagal or Hail, and Hail like in Hail Hitler, Hail Mr. Hitler. That is the um, a, a runic sign, a runic symbol, and actually it's the seventh rune of the Futhark. And uh, the G is also the seventh, the seventh um, uh, letter in the alphabet. Like I show you afterwards, that the G, that the uh, the square and compass in the middle is the G, as we know. Yeah. So this was very important for the Nazis, and you already saw my other vid. If you if you walk around, if I walk around, it will turn into the square and compass. So that means they're all the same. And actually, I proved that the um, the runic symbols, the runes, they come from the um, the pharaonic hieroglyphs. Actually, there are many runes that are exactly the same. And uh, it also, it, this, this is the mother of all the runes. And um, Hagal gives birth of all conscience, to all consciousness. It's, it's the, um, yeah. And actually there's a name in the, uh, the Pharaonic language. It's called Rin. And Rin means name. So I mean, how they, the Germanic people, they were, all, they were still running around and hanging in trees. They didn't write nothing. So how do you explain these barbarians? Uh, about writing. Well, you say this name, that name, a name for tree, Rin. And this is where the, the word Run, Run, it came from. And if we walk around, you know, we see from the runes came the Freemasons, that it's all the same. It was, very, it was very, very important for the Nazis and especially Mr. Himmler. Um, it was better before, but it, it's not, um, it's not uh, consented in the, in the, in the center here. But I had to I had to move on because of the tram here, and we see this one here, which is like lying here. It's also give it's giving it's also giving a uh, stability, of course. But um, these one here, it's like uh, triangular, and this is square. The one lying there, and the and the two bars here, it's square. So it belongs, if you put it on the bar, you, well, you get another symbol, you know, it's like, like a drop down, like, yeah. So now we're going to have a look, and um, yeah, we're going to have a look around. It's, it's going to be hard now, because the tram is here. Um, well, maybe I'll get it from here. No, I'll get it from here. Yeah. Should walk back. Actually, well, uh, well, we, we have. I have a better on the. Uh, So from here is a better view, much better. Okay, so this one here, which is pointing upwards, eh, it's uh, the compass. And the compass, as you can see here, it's got three sides. So the compass stands for the letter three, which is very important. I'm going to tell you things now that not many people know. The other one here, from here to there, it's called the square. And the square is 90 degrees, and it stands for the letter four, the four elements, water, fire, um, air, and earth. And why stand, does it stand for the letter four? Because with a 90 degree angle, you can make the, uh, the bottom of a, uh, of a pyramid. And this stands for the letter three, because it's got three sides and three angles, three corners. And it stands for IHS, Isis, Horus, and Seth. 
uh, which the church took over as the, uh, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the idea of Isis, which, which I can't really explain here. And um, the Son is Horus, of course. That was the, uh, the son of Isis. Isis is the idea, you know. So the Holy Spirit is the idea of the world domination. And uh, the Father actually is Osiris. So, um, but they, they call it Seth here, because Seth killed Osiris. Uh, he was not really his brother. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you some other day about this. So this is three and four. And three and four together make seven. And seven is a holy number, not only in the Bible, but also especially for the pharaohs. Because it's the three sides of the, um, as you can see here, of the, um, of the delta and the bottom uh, making four sides of a pyramid yeah and um, in the middle it will it will get here in the middle you get okay i'll show one more time to you here the uh, triangle uh, stands for the uh, the number three and it's uh, ihs isis horus and seth or the father the son and the holy spirit the Holy Spirit is Isis, the idea to um, um, to reconstruct man from new by uh, killing the fathers and raising the uh, sons without a father, as Osiris was killed by um, by his uh, by his brother Seth, who wasn't really his real brother, but uh, in the sense of man should be brothers. So actually, it should be not I H S but I uh, O S Osiris because he's the real father. But okay, Seth uh, had to play the father. Okay, so four are the four elements, and the um, the underside of a pyramid, like uh, fire, water, air, and um, um, earth. And three is the side of the pyramid, and together they make seven. And here, Hagal or Hagalaz, the mother of all runes, comes in into place because it's the seventh rune in the Futhark, as the G is the seventh letter in the alphabet. So, in the symbol I filmed, uh, around I, uh, in, in, on which I turn around. Um, Hagal is the G so here we got everything the G the number 7 the number 3 and the number 4 and the um, square and compass so okay I hope you get a small understanding like this is not this is something not many people know um, very few people know this I could tell you a lot more but um, yeah well I'm very bad with all the uh, electronics and techniques. You probably already found that out. And, um, yeah, well. Okay, sneaky bastards they are, eh? They're just um, putting up symbols, secret symbols, um, without us knowing uh, what it really is. Mm. And then they talk about human rights well i tell you there are no human rights well, i mean the media and everything it belongs to the pharaohs doesn't it mm. okay so wakey wakey new worm order